The coalition of NGOs in health has expressed disappointment in the postponement of the distribution and commissioning of national ambulances from January 6 to a proposed date of January 28. A civil society group has lashed out at the National Ambulance Service for poor planning and coordination, which it says can break the health system. A promise by President Akufuado to revamp the ailing National Ambulance Service was fulfilled in September last year. This was when the first batch of ambulances arrived in the country and were parked at the State House awaiting distribution. Another consignment arrived in December and following a series of agitation from the public and civil society groups over delays in distributing them, President Akufuado at the media encounter scheduled January 6 as the date for their commissioning and distribution. On the 6th of January, I will commission them and then the distribution will take place simultaneously across the country. But National Ambulance Service recommended a postponement to January 28. A letter written and signed by its chief executive officer, Dr. Ahmed Zakaria, indicated that a number of preparatory activities which should have been completed prior to the commissioning and distribution of the ambulances are behind schedule. They include lack of training for staff and paramedics on the use of the ambulances and medical equipment. The new dates scheduled for the training is from January 13 to 20. Another reason for the request for postponement is the digitization of the ICT dispatch system, which will allow the routing of calls through a computer system, which will automatically generate the digital address location of the caller to enable control center easily determining the nearest ambulance to dispatch. Surprisingly, the chief executive officer of the National Ambulance Service, Professor Ahmed Zakaria, in an interview on January 6, revealed the full complement of ambulances has not even arrived. Normally, for purposes of the warranty, the manufacturer will want to ensure that he gets a qualified person to come and train whoever is going to use the vehicles and the equipment so that they are sure that at least as a start, the training has been, done, has been done on their part. And you cannot violate that clause because if you do, it means that you are losing the warranty. And normally the manufacturers have their own timelines. All efforts to get them can arrive before the stipulated time that they had planned failed because they really, with all good um, intention, wanted to go by that. But unfortunately, it did not happen. The Coalition of NGOs in Health, a civil society group, has described reasons cited by the chief executive officer as disappointing. However, it's been done without plan. It's poorly planned. It's poorly coordinated. There are a lot of technical services and regimen that need to be put in place. And one of the major challenges we have in Ghana over the years is politicizing our health systems. And any country that politicizes the health system will continuously break the health system. It will come to a time it may not be able to work very well. So the national ambulance system should have been properly procured with all the necessary agencies making their inputs with a deployment plan, a distribution Dr. Gabriel Benaku is of the view the timing is wrong. A pharmacist and fellow with the Center for Democratic Development, CDD, Kweku Sapong Esiedu, insists the delay in distribution of the ambulances is still having a toll on emergency health care across the country. The ambulances, we need a robust emergency medical um, system and therefore we need to get it right. Then we need to look at all the things that have gone wrong, identify how they went wrong, correct them all, and ensure that the system runs efficiently and, are, um, efficiently and there are no more hitches. Having said that, I still have a bit of angst about the fact that if in eight months they were not able to get all these things right, postponing from today for 22 days, can we fix all these in 22 days? 130 ambulance stations in Ghana currently depend on 50 ambulances as 100 others have broken down.